Hi everyone, I got Joy. I got Joy's cooking. Today we're going to be cooking an elegant meal. <laughs> it's cream asparagus over toast. The reason I said elegant about 40 years ago, a little 94 year old lady showed me how to do this and she said it was elegant. And she always used her china and had a teapot and we had a tea party. So I am doing that. I'm saying it's elegant like she did. So as you see, I'm cooking bacon. I am adding bacon. She didn't have bacon in hers, but if you'll see, it is, it makes it nice to have bacon. And, you know, asparagus, this time of year is iffy. But where you break it is usually where it's just the thin. Uh, so we'll go with cutting it pretty short. It's a very a simple little dish. It's, it's asparagus. Uh, cream and you know some seasonings in a roux of course. Now I'm going to cut the asparagus to about a bite size. Um, maybe. <laughs> some of them anyway. I've got my water for me. So I'm going to put it in my water and just use enough water to barely cover it. You don't need a lot of water and Asparagus cooks very quick. You see, I'm just barely cutting it. When uh, I started making this little dish for myself, actually, it's a, it's a lunch. Let's face it, it's a lunch. It's it is for breakfast. I'm not for, it for lunch, and uh, but it is. <laughs> and she loved it. And, she took such pride in making it for people. She would invite somebody to lunch. You know, she was going to have asparagus on China and tea, tea with her. She actually did have scones too. Now with the bacon grease, of course, I'm going to make a uh, a cream sauce. And by that time you're and you don't have to use all this bacon I just wanted to finish the what was in the my package and uh, this was just a good way to do it and I'll save it for sandwiches oh, I love bacon and tomato sandwiches So, asparagus is started. So that's a beautiful about five minutes or something. Okay, I, now I took my grease and I put it in a little cup and just took the top part of the grease that's you know doesn't have bacon bits in it. We're going to make a little roux out of it. Need a little bit more, but let's see. Now my um, asparagus has been cooking five minutes, so. You see that that still left the roux looking white and clear. Yeah, let's put a little salt in it. Uh, and we'll put a fourth cup of, I mean a fourth teaspoon of salt and a fourth teaspoon of 
And then if you know everybody wants to know they can always add it. afraid of not getting it as thick as I need it and then you have to let it cook down. Okay. Just put a little water in it to start. For many years, and you've stirred many meal, you have good strong arms. <laughs> okay. to the skillet so I keep some of the water in case we need it. And we just might need a little bit. Does it look to you look good to you yet? It does to me. I guess because I've had it so many times. to do is to get our toast and of course we are using our toast with the edges cut off and little diamonds Be enough for me for two or three days because I'm a here. Okay, I'm a few months there because you'll love this. Oh, that is just so divine. Now, yeah, it's elegant because it's that good. Yeah, that was a good day. And I hope you had a this is, let's see, I would think this is about, this came from her mother's farm, so this is over 100 years old, and they raised asparagus, and she said when she was seven years old, it was her job every morning to go out in the garden and cut the asparagus. Asparagus will grow about that far, and if you got good soil and good water, so it was her job every morning to go out and cut the asparagus. So maybe that was her love for asparagus. Well, it's been a good day. 
Enjoy the day and remember the joy. Take care of yourself. See you soon. I forgot to end my program showing them warm with bacon. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the uh, uh, bacon on our asparagus. <laughs>